Okay, so I'm ready to take on the gym in this place. I don't even know the name of this town, but I believe this is going to be a fighting type gym leader. So I'm just going to go ahead and just walk right in. I wonder, is the gym leader actually going to be home unlike the previous ones? Oh, it's this guy. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Let me just mash the B button to get through this. Okay, he gave me a Pokeball. Cool. Okay. Can we, can we do this or what? Do you think that this gym leader is going to be home? That's a tall order. Are you going to... Yes, yes. Oh, what do you know? The, the gym leader is actually here. I don't have to go looking for him. I like that. Okay, go. Number four. That's me. Alright, as I expect, I think this is supposed to be a fighting type gym, but uh, we will find out momentarily. I mean, it's got a picture of a fist, so, and it's orange, so it's kind of fighty. Well, what the heck is this? Is this pinball? I see boxing gloves here and there, though. Huh, okay. Yes, just uh, go ahead and tell me what this is. Still on site. Oh, that's what the name of this. Oh, I didn't know that. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit about how to operate this fun operation thingy-mabobber. Rotate your control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate to the left to make the cup spin left. I feel like there's a lot of words right here and it's not actually that complicated at all. <clears throat> but I guess I'm going to find out right now. Okay, so I'm going to the left. Wait, what's going Oh! Wait, 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 what? Oh, I thought it was just like you, you hold left. No, it, this is like you gotta actually rotate this thing. Okay. Well, that wasn't really much of a challenge at all. Wait, hold on, I gotta go the other way, yes. Gotta use the left side of my brain. That was so easy. There's a trainer right here, though. You look dizzy. Do you think you can battle in that condition? Yeah, this is definitely a fighting gym. For sure. Just so happens... Wait, what? Stuffle? That's a fighting Pokemon? I thought it was like a normal type. Or is it both? I guess it must be both if it's fighting in here. Unless this is a... No, there's no way this is a normal type gym. Absolutely no way. No shot. Goodbye, Stuffle. Perhaps the most adorable Pokemon in this whole game, and I just kicked it in the face twice, just because I could. Alright. Be- Oh, it's time for revenge. Ho ho ho. Dude, in one of the first episodes, this thing unalive one of my Pokemon. Yeah, I guess it's a fighting type. Dang, that's kind of scary to see this thing in the wild, you know, it's a fighting type, and it might know, like, close combat or something. Alright, what's this thing gonna do to me? Probably nothing- Ooh, takedown. How much is that gonna do? Ooh, that that kind of chunked me, but I have no fear. I have potions and whatnot in the back, so I'm not too worried about this guy. This is last Pokemon, so this trainer wasn't much of a threat. If I've learned anything from these uh, gym leaders, it's that uh, their signature boss Pokemon is a Gen 8 Pokemon, which I'm probably not gonna know anything about. Oh, another person leveled up. Excellent. I'm not dizzy, I'm dazzled. Very clever, very clever. He's trying to do damage control. He's trying to make himself not look goofy. No, I don't want to go back to the entrance. I gotta go down this whole crazy Sonic the Hedgehog pinball thing. Alright, so, and now I gotta... Wait, what does this do? I guess... Well, let me find out. I wanna see. Oh, that makes sense. What a strange idea for a fighting type gym, dude. I mean, it's cool. I'm just wondering, like, why Why is this the... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Now that I paid attention to the previous gym challenge, it doesn't make any sense either. Like, why does the water gym have to be a maze? Like, that's just really painful. Maybe that's a thing, because... Huh? Yeah, fighting types, they're usually fun Pokemon, and then water types and, and water levels and mazes aren't usually fun, so that's why it was a maze. No, 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 go that way, go that way. Why am I struggling so badly with this? Wait, am I... Oh, wait, I don't think I'm going the right way. <clears throat> this reminds me of this one video I saw of a mask. And it was like, if you can, uh... Ooh, ooh, ah, yep. 
If you can see the mass rotating both ways, you're like a genius. Yeah, I, I can't. That's You're asking a lot from me, Chief. Go up here. Yep. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Now we're going to go this way. All right, cool. So, yep, as expected, there's going to be a train right here. This is very similar to actually the first gym. The other two, uh, no, the fighting, I mean not the fighting, the fire type gym was, uh, was pretty easy too. You could just go around and just stomp all of them into the ground. What the heck is that? That's, that's a far-fetched? That looks nothing like the one from Generation 1. Well, I mean, I believe these are fighting types, so I guess this is a fire fight. Oh, okay, it's, it's, it's dead. <laughs> not, not firefighting, I, I mean flying fighting. Okay, well, so far, this gym's looking extremely easy, but, uh, that's what the water gym kind of looked like, too, until I got to Nessa, so I'm not trying to count them chickens till they, uh, until they hatch, yeah. Okay, so... Yes, go that way. Yes. Okay, this is starting to get kind of complicated. What is this below me, man? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I guess I, I need to go this way. I can't make that jump to the right. Oh, and then I gotta probably take this. Yep. No, I failed. I failed. Okay, we'll try again. <clears throat> okay, so this makes me go that way. Yes, perfect. Okay, just keep mashing. Just keep mashing. Perfect. That's the smell of progress. Wait, wait, wait. What? what? Okay, okay. That was really cool. Extremely unnecessary, but very, very stunning. Okay, oh, this is probably the very last trainer. Oh, this this gym was very, very simple. It was nice and reckless, like this guy was just talking about. Gym trainer Simon. Simon Belmont. Okay, it's 100% for sure a fighting type gym. I wasn't too sure about the, the typings of the previous Pokemon, but I know Hitmonlee is absolutely, without a doubt, a fighting type and only a fighting type. Let's see if he... Dude, he died from... Oh, a crit. <laughs> oh, man. Here, I was thinking that that was just a regular hit because him on Lee's defense is so bad, but no, it was... We probably could have the flame charge from Mochi. Would have been severely injured. I might have broken a kneecap or two, but... Uh... Hitmon... Oh, that makes sense. Yep. Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chen. Did you know Hitmon Lee is from... Uh... Based off of uh... Uh... uh Bruce Lee and then Hitmon Chen's based off of... Uh... Uh, Jackie Chan. Or at least that's what they taught me when I was younger. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have lied to me. Okay, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I think Hitmonlee would have lived that flame charge. Judging by how much I did to Hitmonchan. There, you know what? That's the useless question for the video today. Who do you prefer? Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan? Me, I'm more of a Hitmonlee guy. Never really liked Hitmonchan, I'll be honest. Yeah, like, actually ever now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. Psych... Okay, Frank wants to learn Psychic. That's a really good move. Base 90. Oh, I keep forgetting that Frank is actually a physical attacker. That's so strange to me. Um. Whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll just, you know, upgrade Confusion to Psychic. Almost doubled the damage. Why not, right? Alright, we took out Gym Trainer Simon. And I do believe if I simply go up the stairs, I'll be in the stadium to fight the gym leader, which I believe is going to be, uh... Oh, look, I don't know how to say her name. Bay? B? Bay? I like Bay. But her, it's not like B-A-E, like... You know what I mean. It's, it's spelled like the other way. I think it's B-E-A. Alright, well, that was probably the most enjoyable gym mission so far. I'm going to go ahead and uh, not waste super potions just because those cost money. Okay, excellent. Um, Am I ready for this? Do I have the Pokemans ready? Um. Oh, wait, dude. I'm going to absolutely destroy this gym leader because I've got a flying type. I've got a psychic type and a ghost type, which is probably the best one of all. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to let... I'm going to let Fear City take this one. Let's see how how weak I render her Pokemon with a Ghost-type. Do I have the... 
disgust. Oh boy. All right, th I should be fine. I should be. All right, let's see. Uh, about time I show some love to my other Pokemon. I've had Mochi absolutely just demolish everything in my way up to this point. Yeah, that that's the gym leader, Bay, as I call her. I don't know how to say her name. It's probably Bay though. B, Bia. Welcome, gym challenger. I'm. I don't want to say her name. I'm tired of butchering butchering her name. You have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how you are attacked. I like to think so. I think I'll just test that out, shall I? Oh, that's all she said to me. Okay, this gym leader is very uh, stoic and reserved. Unlike the other ones, we're kind of out and about. Alright, here comes the epic gym leader music. She has Ultra Ball. She has four Pokemon. Hit them on top. Okay. Well, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Okay. Well, first of all, I don't need Dynamax. Second of all, oh, this Pokemon's the same level as uh, my Fear City. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Stockpile three times just because I can. Because that's the kind of guy that I am. Look at my defense nice and strong, just in case she has something to hit. Counter? Oh my god. If this is your way of stopping Fear City, this is going to be a painful battle for you, my friend. Oh my god. Please tell me that was a misclick. Go for the Sucker Punch or something. Revenge. I don't think she has anything. Counter's fighting. Revenge is fighting. Alright. Uh, you can only get three stockpiles, as far as I know. So, I'm at 2.5 uh, defense and special, and she can't even touch me. That, this is why I wanted to go with the uh, Fear City. Let's go over the Gust. It's a pretty weak move, but stab super effective. That was a, that's almost a 2 hit KO. I will take that. Yeah, too bad. You can't touch me with that Revenge. Oh man, this might actually be the easiest gym leader so far. Triple kick. Oh, you poor, poor Hitmon top. Oh my. Quick attack! Dude, I'm invincible! That I saw all her moves. Yep, and down goes the Hitmon top. Okay. We're, we're doing fantastic so far. Oh, I just now noticed, yeah, the Pokemon in, in on top definitely gets the most XP. We got Pangoro coming out. What the heck is that thing? Oh no, I have seen this before. This is that Panchan's of old form. Clearly, it's just a it's just a bigger panda bear. All right, so that that's obviously a fighting. You know, I'm just gonna go for Gus. It might be part dark, I believe. So it's probably gonna eat up these ghost hits. All right, wait a second, dark. Oh no! Wait, wait. I got three stockpiles. Okay, that actually did a lot of damage to my surprise. Um, okay, well, I'll just go for another one of these things, and then, uh, yeah, I, I can eat up another Night Slash. Yep, no problemo. No way that thing knows Sucker Punch. Absolutely no way. Yep, look at that. That's how risky of a player I actually am. So now, that thing was probably the one thing I bet on her team that could have stopped me, and it's gone now. Gone. G-O-N. Alright, what's next? Surfetched? Is this what Farfetched evolves into? Are you kidding me? Uh, no, I'll just stay in. I'm fine. I can just... Oh, Ash had this in the show. Does Farfetched evolve into that? Or is this like Farfetched's like evil brother or something? I don't even know. That's so silly to me. Um, no, I don't need that much beef. I just need... One of these, give it a super potion the next, uh, next turn. Let's see what this Surfetch is capable of against Fear City. Brutal Swing, isn't that a dark move? Okay, that actually did a lot of damage. Yeah, she's smart to have these, uh, dark type coverage moves for sure. In case some guy like me shows up in this gym with, uh, this guy. Detect! You are throwing! You are throwing! Why are you throwing? You have no reason to go for that! Okay, well, I'm gonna be at full health now, so I can start striking her down with, uh... I guess Gus. I'm assuming that's a flying fighting type, right? That would just make sense. How much does that do? Dude, I, if I didn't have three stockpiles up, this thing would actually be really, really hurting me. You know what? How much does a Shadow Ball do? Let's find out. Oh. Are you kidding me? I could have just used a super potion right then and there. And then you really would have been behind. 
All right, Shadow Ball again, because why not? That's a two-hit KO. I think this does more damage than Gust itself. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll just go for another one. Take out this Surfetch. Detect. Oh my God, really? What What are you accomplishing by doing this, man? I can't believe this. Is this really the strategy that people do? Alright, we'll have another Shadow Ball. Dude, I, I didn't call this thing Fear City all those episodes ago for nothing. So there goes three Pokemon. Okay, Pan leveled up. She's 38. Machamp. Dude, for some reason, I thought that her final Pokemon was like this weird thing that's like... I don't know how to explain it. It's like multiple Pokemon connected to one another. Just from very, very vague memory. But this thing's level 36. Um, well, we know it's going to Dynamax. You know, I'm just going to heal up and I'm going to eat up whatever attack this Machamp wants to go for. It probably does have a dark move. I'm not really worried. I doubt this thing is anywhere near as strong as uh, Nessa's Dreadnought was. That thing was disgusting. Alright. Ooh, I'm so scared. Okay, Machamp looks kind of scary. He's not just big like the other ones. He actually looks different. He is built different, as they say. Well, I mean, certainly, um... Max... Wait. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Alright, champ. See, uh, see what I did there, champ? Spadef. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Does that mean this is going to be a two-hit KO on me? Uh, what? Because if I go for a super potion, that might actually knock me out. Are you serious right now? Is this really happening to me? And then Frank will just get demolished by it. Um... I could just go, like, switching around and whatnot. How much defense do you two have? Okay, we got 73 and 76. And what does... Oh, what? I didn't know my defense was so low. I guess that makes sense. I'm literally a balloon. All right. A uh, new plan. I'm going to go... First, I'm going to go into Blueberry. Because um, a Super Potion... If I, if I just use that, I think I'll actually die. So I'm going to go into Blueberry, eat up this shot... Switch into Nesso, eat up that shot, and we should be good. What are you about to do? Max Darkness? Yeah, let me eat that up. That's going to do nothing to me. Oh, that actually did do, like, nothing. However, I can't stay in because, uh, that's why. My Spadef is, uh, ha it has been lowered. Now I will bring in Nesso to eat up this next shot, and we should be fine. And then there'll be a, a nice, small, normal Machamp again. Cool. Please don't go for, like, a fighting move. I didn't actually think about... Wait, what's Max Strike? Is this a fighting move? Oh, okay, good. I don't know. What the heck was that? It's not very effective. Was that supposed to be a normal move? My speed fell. Alright, well, I guess that was a normal move since I'm a rock type. So, I guess this Machamp knows normal, dark, and, uh... It has to know a fighting move, right? So, I'll just go into... Oh, for, dude, this whole time I thought Pan was flying normal. I keep thinking that. Well, okay, cool. I'll just go into her right now and just eat up whatever this guy wants to go for. I resist it after all. Let's see what she does. Unnerve. Okay, pretty useless item. I mean, ability. Revenge. Oh, man, that's going to do nothing. You know, I'm going to go for Home Claws because... Uh, if I, if I go for Jill Peck right now, and that thing goes for revenge, that might actually, like, KO me. So, what do we got now? Scary face? Are you... That was probably the normal move, then. His Gigantamaxing turns, like... I think it turns regular moves like that into, like, actual high-damaging moves. Knock off! Oh, man! Oh, we're, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, my sharp beak! You knocked off my sharp beak! I can't believe that. Wait... I just remembered, in this game it's weird, like, somebody knocked off and I- Oh, wait, my item's actually gone now. I was fighting somebody and they used knockoff on me and, like, I literally kept my item. 
I think they were trying to knock off my leftovers. Maybe it was because it was a wild Pokemon, perhaps. I'm going to use a super potion. I have so many super potions. The saving grace of the Nuzlocke. Oh, strength. So, you know, strength, revenge, scary face, knockoff. That's actually pretty good for an NPC AI person. So, I'll just go for drill pick after this and then absolutely demolish this Machamp. I'm at plus two. Strength, that's going to do nothing. Yep. Okay, cool. Wait, actually... Wait a second. Hold on. No, 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 no. Because, you know why? What if he crits me? I know it's kind of goofy to think about, but what if he actually crits me? So I'm going to go into Frank. That's smart. A crit will for sure take out Pan from where I'm at. God, I have to dance around this Machamp. Okay, what, what, what's it about to do? Strength? Yeah, that's going to do nothing. Um... It knows knockoff, though. Won't that knock me out, though? Oh, my gosh. I'm making this way more difficult than it needs to be. All right, how about this? I'm going to go for a super potion. I bet that thing's going to use knockoff. And then it'll obviously knock my item off. And then the knockoff will be weaker, so I can eat up whatever shot I want. Yeah, okay, let's see how much this does. Dude... It is a really, really, really good thing I used a super potion there. Because Frank would have absolutely died right there. So that did... That did 94 damage. Jeez, man. Okay, well, let's just go for uh, one of these real quick. This Machamp's kind of causing me some problems. Strength. Yeah, that's going to do nothing. I'm just trying to play it safe right now, people. Man, thank God for uh, healing in these Nuzlocks. So, I think after this next... Re oh, Revenge. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now... Okay, that actually did a lot more than I thought it would. Well, it don't matter. Um, I can... Oh, I forgot I have Slack off. Um, Wait, oh, that's funny. Super Potion does 60 and Slack off actually heals 62. So I should probably be using Slack Off. So I just wasted a bunch of Super Potions for literally no reason. I feel really stupid right now. Oh, I'm faster? Oh, wait, he's going for Revenge. Dude, that did nothing to that Machamp. Oh, wait, that Machamp's female. My bad. She's going for Revenge. Uh, Wait a second. Wait, I can't just go for Slack Off because that thing is faster. So it'll actually KO me. So I better use this. I'm pretty sure revenge is actually negative priority. Strength. Oh, yeah, we're chilling. So, that did... Oh, yeah, so I can live with a slack off right now, which is what I'll go for. Are you actually going for revenge? That's going to do nothing to me. I always get confused. Is revenge the one that does more power if you have lower health or... Wait, no, 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 Revenge does more if you go, if you get hit, I believe. I'm thinking of Reversal. You know what, let's go for Zen Headbutt. I am a physical attacker, apparently, so this should theoretically do a lot more. That much champ's about to die. I should have went for, for that in the very beginning. Let's see how much that Revenge does. Ooh! That's, uh, that did a lot of damage. Hey, well, let, we're just playing it safe. I'm actually surprised I haven't been critical hit by her at all this whole battle. This whole battle has been pretty much just against this Machamp. Revenge, yeah, that's going to do nothing. Yep. Oh, that was the crit! Um, let me just, let me, let me go for Slack off. Oh, you went for Revenge? Oh, that might be GG's, because I'm going to eat up this, uh, this next hit, and then I'm going to take him out with a Psychic, and then that's it. Because I think even if you go for Strength or Knock Off, and it crits me... I can easily live that, so that is, uh, yeah, and she went for revenge anyway. Goodbye, my champ. A worthy adversary. I was starting to get kind of worried towards the end, but, uh, what do you know? I did it. Okay, okay, that my champ gave up a lot of XP. Honestly, kind of deserved. That's pretty cool, fighting him a champ this early. The champ's super strong. Everyone's getting leveled up right now. 
That was a great batter. Ba yeah, batter. B that was a great battle, B, B Bay. I, I don't know. I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them in battle. I'm going to call her Bay. That just makes sense. Whoa! Look at that! This is what happened the last gym leader we beat. We celebrated with an evolution. And I think I know what this thing evolves into. Yes! Oh my god, look at this creature! Pan is now a Corviknight. She's some crazy Griffith monster bird thing that scared me on like the second episode. Oh my god, the Raven Pokemon. This is a crazy looking thing. This Pokemon reigns supreme in the skies of the Gala region. The black luster of its steel body could drive terror into the heart of any foe. Yeah, it, 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 drove, it drove terror into me. Am I about to... Yep, I'm learning a new move. Steel Wing. I think that's actually a TM that I own. Oh, it's not 100 accuracy. That's disgusting. As sad as that is. Um, wait a second. Home Claws boost attacking at... Oh! Um... Uh, Okay, I guess I'll switch that, right? For power trip. Sounds like a good idea. And if uh, something goes wrong, I can put it back on her anyway. That was a great battle, Bay. Thank you for the battle. View, facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it. But it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle. But it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. Oh, she's taller than me. Why is that? Do you think she's just really tall or I'm just really young and just inexperienced at life? Pokemon up to level 40. I hope that you'll meet many more trainers and more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Level 40? Then that means that... The Pokemon coming up on this next route shouldn't be very uh, much stronger than the last one. Oh, Revenge. Yeah, that Machamp kept hitting me with this move. This move, this attack moves power is doubled if the user has been hurt. Ah, okay. Yep. Once again, if this hypothetically was a hardcore Nuzlocke, things would be way, 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 way different. Although, to be fair, most of that battle, I was just using Fear City. Balwark. Was that Yamper? Is Sonya nearby? Probably. Yep, here she is. Looks like my Yamper really likes you. Huh? Anyway, we run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stowan side? It's said to tell a story of the hero of Galar as well. Though, what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Kaboom! What? What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the... What was it? Did something just blow up? Let's have a look. Uh... Okay. Well, um... I... Yeah, yeah. This would be a great time for a stopping point, if you ask me. Are my Pokemon healed up? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So this was a fantastic episode. I'm going to put Mochi up in front again. Just to be on the safe side, you know, I, I, I'm a very risk averse person. So cool, we got our four gym badges. And in the next episode, I'm going to see what on earth that explosion was over there. So thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.